Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Erica. If you're new here, welcome. Today I have some Dollar General 5 off 25 scenarios that you can do Saturday, July 18th. If you want to see what those scenarios are, just keep watching. Okay, before we get started, let's go over the things you need to remember. The very first thing is you want to scan every single item in the store with the app. When you pick it up to put it in your basket, go ahead and scan it. The reason you're scanning it is you want to make sure that the prices are coming up correctly. Sometimes these items will be on sale or on a price break and you don't know it. If your total is below $25 when you get to that checkout, the 5 off 25 will not come off of your total. That is why it's so important to scan your items when you're putting them in your cart. Also, make sure your digital coupons are attaching to that item. I know with gain, sometimes one cent will attach to the coupon, while one cent won't. I'm going to show you in just a second how to check and make sure your coupons are attaching, but you're going to want to make sure those coupons are attaching. Your total has to be $25 before coupons. If you have any instant savings, like in one of our scenarios, we have three packs of toilet paper. There's a $3 instant savings. For that case, you need to add that $3 to your $25 to make that your total before coupons. So in that case, your total would be $28. And lastly, get what you need, not what is cheap. I make these scenarios as a little guide point to help you along while you're shopping. If there's something in the scenario you don't need or don't want, then just replace it with something else. If you're spending money on items that you're never going to use, you're not really saving money now, are you? And now, a quick rundown of how to use the app to scan your items. First thing you're going to do is open your app. Down at the bottom, right in the middle, it says list. You're going to click on that, and it's going to open up your shopping list. Then up top, you're going to check and make sure that your location is the store that you are at. If not, you're going to hit change store and select the correct location. And finally, you're going to click on this little barcode and it's going to open up your scanner. I'm going to scan a few items from my stockpile to show you what we're looking for. First, let's scan this bottle of Gain dish soap. You'll see that there's a 50 cent coupon attaching to it, as well as the Gain 5 off 30 coupon. So you could use this item in a Gain scenario. Now let's add it to our cart. If we click right here where it says Deals Applied, it'll drop down and show you the coupon attached to that item. Let's go back up here and hit the scanner again, and we're going to go and scan another item. Here we are going to scan an Airwick Multi Refill Pack. Once we scan it, we are going to see that there are no coupons listed below which means no coupons attached to this item. Now on to another item. We're going to scan a you buy Kotex because I know there is a coupon that attaches to it. So let's pick it up here and scan it. So once we get it scanned, we will notice that there is going to be a $1 coupon attaching to it. The regular price is $3.60, but the $1 coupon, it lowers the price to $2.60. You want to make sure this little check mark is here. That means it is clipped to your account. One last final and quick thing is this subtotal at the bottom here on the right. Do not go by what this says. Sometimes it'll be correct, but more times than not, it will be incorrect. My suggestion is do a little old school math on a piece of paper with a pencil. Okay, for scenario number one, we're going to buy one Oral-B indicator toothbrush for $2. We're going to use the $2 off one Oral-B digital coupon. We're going to pick up two of the Febreze small spaces, car clips, or wax melts. They're $3 each. We're going to use that $3 off two Febreze digital coupon. We're going to pick up two of the Gain Flings 14 count. They're $3.95 each. We're going to use the $2 off one Gangs Fling digital coupon, and there's also another $2 off one Gain Flings digital coupon. So make sure both of those are clipped to the account. You're going to pick up one Gain Fabric Softener or the 105 count dryer sheets, the $3.95. You're going to use the $2 off one Gain Fabric Enhancer digital coupon. You're going to buy one of the 75 ounce Tide Simply with Oxy, it has to be with Oxy, $6.95. You're going to use that $3 off one Tide digital coupon. And of course, you're going to make sure that 5 off 25 is clipped to your account. You're going to go up to the cash register. The cashier is going to ring up your items. Your total is going to come to $26.80 before coupons. In your number at the keypad, $19 worth of coupons will come off, making your new total before tax $7.80. Okay, for scenario number two, we're going to pick up three of the 12-pack rolls Scott toilet paper. They're $5 each. We're going to buy two Febreze small spaces, car clips, or wax melts for $3 each. We're going to use that 3 off 2 Febreze digital coupon. We're going to pick up one Oral-B indicator toothbrush for $2. We're going to use that $2 off one Oral-B digital coupon. 
We're going to pick up one of the Gain laundry detergents, liquid or flings, or $3.95. Use that $2 off one Gain digital coupon. Buy one Crest Cavity Protection toothpaste for $2. Use that $1 off one Crest Cavity Protection digital coupon. Don't forget to make sure that 5 off 25 is clipped to your account. Cashier is going to ring up all your items. Your total is going to be $28.95. $3 worth of instant savings is going to come off as soon as they hit total. That's going to bring your total down to $25.95. You're going to enter your number at the keypad. $13 worth of coupons will come off, making your new total before tax $12.95. Moving right along to our third scenario, we're also going to buy three packs of that Scott 12 pack roll toilet paper, $5 each. We're going to buy one of the Big Us Razor starter kits for $9. We're going to use that $5 off one Big Us Razor digital coupon. We're going to buy one Crest Cavity Protection Toothpaste for $2. We're going to use that $1 off one Crest Toothpaste Digital Coupon. We're going to buy one Oral-B Indicator Toothbrush for $2. We're going to use the $2 off one Oral-B Indicator Toothbrush Digital Coupon. And like always, we're going to make sure that 5 off 25 is clipped to our account. The cashier is going to ring up all your items. Their total is going to be $28. $3 in instant savings is going to come off automatically. That makes your new total exactly $25. You're going to enter your number at the keypad. $13 worth of digital coupons are going to come off making your new total before tax just $12. Okay, for this next scenario, it's actually gonna be using the $3 off 15 digital coupon if you have that one. I'm really pushing these toilet paper deals because I'm noticing toilet paper stock is starting to go down. If you're watching your store's inventories, you may have noticed that it's starting to dwindle down a little bit. So we're gonna pick up three of the Scott toilet paper, 12 pack rolls, $5 each. We're gonna clip that three off 15 purchase digital coupon. We're gonna pick up one of the Oral-B indicator toothbrushes for $2. We're going to use that $2 off one Oral-B indicator toothbrush digital coupon. We're also going to pick up one of the tubes of the Crest Cavity Protection Toothpaste for $2. We're going to use that $1 off one Crest digital coupon. We're going to head on up to the checkout. Cashier is going to ring up all our items. It's going to come to $19. $3 in instant savings is going to come off automatically. It's going to bring your new total to $16. You're going to enter your number at the keypad. $6 worth of digital coupons will come off, making your new total before tax just $10 for these five items. Okay, for our next scenario is a gain scenario. We're going to buy two of the Febreze car clips or wax melts. It has to be gain scented. They are $3 each. We're going to use that $3 off two Febreze digital coupon. We're going to buy one gain laundry detergent or flings, $3.95. We're going to use that two off one gain detergent digital coupon. We're going to buy one gain fabric softener or dryer sheets, the 105 count for $3.95. We're going to use the $2 off one gain fabric enhancement digital coupon. We're going to buy one Gain dishwashing soap for $2. We're going to use that $0.50 cent off one Gain dishwashing digital coupon. Then we're going to buy two of the Mr. Clean Gain Scented Multi-Purpose Cleaners. They are $3 each. We're going to use that $1 off two Mr. Clean digital coupon. Then we're going to pick up one of those 50 count Fresh Scent Cascade Dishwashing Action Pack tubs. They are $10 each. We're going to use that $1 off one Cascade digital coupon. Then we're going to make sure that 5 off 30 gain purchase digital coupons clipped to our account, as well as the 5 off 25 digital coupon. You're going to head on up to the checkout. The cashier is going to scan all your items. Your total is going to be $31.90. You're going to enter your number at the keypad. $19.50 worth of digital coupons will come off, making your new total before tax $12.40. And for our final scenario, it's just a bunch of random stuff, but you're going to have a really low out of pocket at the end of it. There is quite a bit on this one, so I had to break it up into two slides, but you can always go down below in the description box, and I have a printable list for you there where you can print them all off. Okay, let's finish this final scenario. We're going to pick up one of the Oral-B Indicator toothbrushes for $2. We're going to use the $2 off one Oral-B digital coupon. We're going to buy one Gain laundry detergent, liquid or flings for $3.95. We're going to use the $2 off one Gain digital coupon. We're going to pick up one Crest Cavity Protection Toothpaste for $2. We're going to use the $1 off one Crest Digital Coupon. We're going to buy one two-count pack of Olay Beauty Bar. They're $2.50. We're going to use that $1.50 off one Olay Digital Coupon. Then we're going to pick up three of the American Greetings cards. They're $0.50 cents each. We're going to use the $1.50 off three Digital Coupon, but actually only $1.47 will come off. Because it's a store coupon, they're going to make sure you pay at least one penny for each of those items. Then we're going to pick up one of the Dental Life Dog Chew 7 count bags. They're in the dollar aisle for $1. We're going to use that $1 off one Dental Life digital coupon. We're going to pick up one of the Bic Us Razor starter kits for $9. We're going to use that $5 off one Bic Us Razor digital coupon. Then we're going to head over to the Travel and Trial section. We're going to pick up two of the Head and Shoulders. They're $2 each. 
we're going to use that three dollar off to head and shoulders digital coupon and we're going to make sure that that five off 25 is definitely clipped to our account after the cashier rings up all 11 of these items your total is going to be 25 dollars and 95 cents you're going to enter your phone number at the keypad where $21.97 worth of digital coupons will come off, making your new total before tax $3.98, or just $0.36 cents per item. Okay, that's all the scenarios I have for you today. Don't forget, down in the description box below, there's going to be a link to a Google Doc where you can print all these scenarios off yourself, or you can always just take a screenshot with your phone. As always, I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch my videos. I really appreciate it. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell, turn on the post notifications to get a notification anytime I post a video. Also, while you're at Dollar General this weekend, don't forget to check out the clearance section. Some stores will have their clearance for a dollar or less, and some stores are having an additional 70% off. So you definitely want to go to the clearance section and scan, scan, scan. Okay, that's all I got. So until next time, bye.